Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to do the scheduling function on your MHK, MHK2 thermostat. So what you wanna do is basically, uh, actually to start, this is only, I think gonna work if you don't have Kumo Cloud. Cause if you have Kumo Cloud, you can do scheduling in the app and it's it's got more function for you. So if you only have the thermostat and you don't have app access, then this is how you do the scheduling. So you're gonna to go to menu here Go right to schedule, you're gonna hit select. And right now it says schedule off. So you wanna hit this button down at the bottom to schedule it on. And there's four functions. So wake, leave, return, and sleep. And then sit, so that's for Monday to Friday and then same thing for Saturday and Sunday. So if you're typical, you know, let's say you wanna wake at, you wanna basically, you wanna have the system turn to a certain temperature at a certain time, so Let's say that's wake, so you hit select, and let's say your wake is, I don't know, 5 a.m. you want the system to go at a certain time, so hit the pluses, go to 5 a.m. here, and then if you hit the, the number, then you can set it to whatever heating setting you want. Hit select, and then cool, since it's, I'm only gonna do this for winter because it's winter right now, so, Basically in the morning, this isn't really relevant as long as it's a high number, so 79 is fine. Hit select, and it says saved. So then, for leave, it's the same thing basically. Select, you leave at 8 a.m., you want the system to be at 68 degrees, so you can do done. And then return, so you get home at five o'clock, select. Hit the number there, you can do five o'clock or whatever, and then set the, the temperature. It's pretty, Pretty redundant after that. Cool, same thing. So that's if you leave the system on like 24 seven. For me, I guess you can call me Nazi. And I basically, this is like a workaround where basically I wanna just have it on overnight at a certain time. And then basically I'll turn it off in the morning manually and then turn it on the next night basically. So if we wanna do that, what I do is you do wake and let's say I wanna have the system turn on at 1 a.m. because I don't want it to be too cold overnight. Hit the temperature and you set the temperature whatever you want, 66, sure. Select, cool is not relevant, so as long as it's a high number, it's fine, select. And then what I wanna do for leave is let's say I wanna have it on for two hours. So we hit the eight o'clock there, and I said one o'clock, we wanna have it basically turn off at 3 a.m. So 3 a.m., so on this heating number, you wanna put it down as low as you can get it. So 50, then select. Cool, doesn't matter, high number, cool. Saved. So basically what happens at that point is the system will essentially turn off and that way you have heat for two hours. And then if you wanted, you can do that twice during one night. So basically for return, select, you could do same thing, but say that at like 4 a.m. you want to turn back on to whatever, 60, 66 degrees. So you can set all that up. And then you could use sleep as the next one, like whatever, 6 a.m. And you turn it down to 50 to turn it off basically. So that's how you can kind of use it as a workaround, but you can only do two, two settings per night basically because there's only the four functions. Now again, if you have Kumo Cloud, you can do whatever you want. You can set it to turn on for an hour and then turn off. Whatever intervals you want, you can do as many as you want. So you have more functionality in Kumo Cloud than on the actual uh, thermostat here. So that's how you do scheduling. So after you've done all your settings, you just go to the right, pass through all the Saturday, Sunday ones, or if you wanna set those ones the same, you can. So keep hitting the right and then done, hit select, and then it saves it. And then basically all you need to do after that to make sure that the schedule actually works is you need to turn your mode on to heat. So once you turn on to heat here, see how it says following, kind of hard to see, but it says following schedule at the top here and you've got the different functions. So right now, based on the time I have set, it's set on leave. So right now it's turning it on to 50, 50 degrees, so basically it's basically the fan is just gonna be on, and that's pretty much it. 
So that's how you do scheduling. Hope that was helpful. If you have any comments, let me know below. And thanks for watching.